This demo shows how to set up the fax functionality on any HP OfficeJet all-in-one printer in the J4500 and J4600 series. Before we start, make sure you have the following items ready. Fax Getting Started Guide, Setup Poster, the Starter CD, and the HP Phone Cord. Refer to the Fax Getting Started Guide to determine if you have a parallel phone system or a serial phone system. If you live in one of these countries or regions, you have a parallel phone system. If you live in one of these countries or regions, you have a serial phone system. We're going to demonstrate the setup for a parallel phone system for a dedicated and shared phone line. We'll begin with a dedicated line, which means there are no additional devices on the phone line. Locate the one line port and plug the HP phone cord that came with your printer into that port. Then, plug the other end of the HP phone cord into the wall jack, and that's it. It's important to note that the 2EXT port will not work with the serial phone system. If your printer needs to share the phone line with another device, such as an answering machine, computer modem, or telephone, locate the 2EXT port, remove the plastic cap, and plug the existing phone cord into the 2EXT port. Check to make sure the phone line is working. Then check the power connection and make sure the printer is connected to your computer. OK, you're ready to turn on the printer and begin using it. Before sending your first fax, you'll need to set up your fax features. There are two ways to do this. You can use the HP software or the control panel. We'll review both setup methods. For the on-screen method, use the Fax Setup Wizard for Windows or the HP Device Manager for Macs. Both are available on the HP CD that came with your printer. Launch the Fax Setup Wizard and navigate through the prompt screens, filling in the necessary information as you go. When you complete the Fax Setup Wizard, the Control Panel Guide pops up. Our next section will focus on the standalone Control Panel operation. We'll show you how to edit or change your heading, run a fax test, and send a basic fax. To change your settings, press the Setup button until you see Basic Settings. Press the right arrow until you see the settings you want to change. Then press the OK button and follow the prompts. You can cancel what you're doing at any time by pressing the Cancel button, which takes you back to the main menu. Let's say you want to change your fax header. Press the Setup button, navigate to Fax Settings, and press OK. Use the keypad to change your fax header information. Pretty easy, right? You can change the rest of the features the same way. Before you send or receive a fax, it's a good idea to run a quick test to make sure everything works like it should. Press the Setup button. Choose Tools and press OK. Scroll over to Run Fax Test and press OK. Your printer automatically checks the settings, displays the results, and prints a report. If the test fails, the report will have more information as to what the problem may be. You can easily send a single or multiple page, black and white, or color fax by using the device control panel. For this example, We'll send a single page black and white fax. First, place your original print side down on the right front corner of the glass. Use the guide along the edge to help line up the original. Once the document is in place, close the lid. Press the left or right arrow to select Fax Black and White, and then press OK. Use the keypad to enter the fax number. and press the Send button. At the next prompt, press the number 1 key to select Fax from Glass. The document will be sent to the number you entered. The display will indicate that your fax was sent. If you have any problems while setting up the fax, consult the electronic user guide included in the OfficeJet printer software. You can find it by clicking the Solutions Center icon on your desktop or you can use the Windows Start menu. You can also visit our online technical support site for additional help or to register your new HP OfficeJet J4500 or J4600 all-in-one printer. 
Thanks for watching.